Good late afternoon. We'll start our meditation. Close your eyes and just listen to the sound of Dave. Thank you. Uh, Dave Miller's on the gong. as they enter into your body. Bring peace and harmony. This meditation bring about peace, harmony, love, compassion, passion, joy, prosperity, health, healing, understanding, and wisdom. of our highest guides, the archangels, the ascended masters, and the divine force. to south and most of all we ask for unity wisdom and peace
that the Archangel Michael surround us with a white light circle of protection, and that protection is expanded to the circumference of our homes, our cities, our county, our states, our country. We ask for truth, that we may see truth, hear truth, understand truth. That we find this truth inside ourselves when there are those who may be speaking non-truths, that we may know that. We ask for calmness when those that are trying to separate us, rile us, get us angry. We see a blue wave, color of our ocean, and this calmness of the ocean wave going over us and calming our emotions so that we may think, we may feel, and we may know truth. We do not allow false prophets in. We do not allow false information. We do not allow fear to control our thoughts or our emotions. We do not make decisions from fear. We make our decisions from love. Breathe deeply and allow the cool ocean wave to come over you from top to bottom. The cool ocean wave to bring you love peace, harmony, wisdom, and understanding. Feel that wave as it covers your body. Feel that wave as it goes inside an invisible hole on top of your head, all the way down through your heart, through the base of your spine, into your feet. Our nation is covered beautiful beauty from our green pastures to our brown forests covered with green. Feel Mother Earth. On your left leg, imagine a root growing down into the planet and on your right leg, another root growing down into the planet. And bring up the energy of the earth through your left leg, through your right leg, into your knees, into the base of your spine. And feel how grounding this energy is, that it holds you to our planet in love. See our beautiful sun and the light of energy of whether you believe in a divine force or just the energy of nature. See this light comes down on top of your head, behind your eyes, into your throat, into your heart, into your solar plexus. And we bring the earth energy up, which is red, and the golden energy of the sun down, and we create this orangish, purplish, pinkish color. Also above, so below. And we feel the grounding and the energy. We are
are energized, we are peaceful, and we are grounded to bring wisdom, peace, and harmony. We resonate now with the color of our sun, the bright yellow. This is the energy of our egos. And we calm our ego, not for our own wants, but for what we need for ourselves, our families, our cities, our states, and our country. We all have the same desire, the desire for peace, the desire for harmony, the desire for good education for our children, the desire for food on our table, a worthwhile job that brings in enough prosperity so they we may live in harmony within our families and not struggle. We ask for justice so that we may practice whatever our religions are. We may practice whatever our cultural heritage is. We may practice whatever our parents practiced in peace and harmony, our ancestors. We want to be accepted and to do that we must accept others. So see others how you walk in their shoes, whether they're a different race, color, religion, nationality, orientation, how they think, whether they're left or right. We all want love, harmony, peace, prosperity. We wish to live our lives in peace, free of disease, free of prejudice, free of force, with freedom to choose our own religions and our own creed. We wish our children safe and our children's children safe. We wish ourselves and our families safe. We wish to be heard and we wish to hear. We wish to give and we wish to receive. We wish to love our neighbor and to be loved by our we wish for friends, for lovers, for mates, for the next generation to have clean water, a clean planet, a clean slate. We wish our earth to be safe. We wish for the harmony of the planet and that our air quality be good. We wish that our planet renews itself, that Mother Earth grows green grass for our children to play with and trees for our children to climb, for safe water for all our cities in our nation, not just some, all. We wish for safe streets where our children do not get shot or hurt that they are safe from authority and from the people. That there is not one person that can take arms against our children when they are in school, when they are at play, when we are at play. We wish our beaches to be safe, our mountains to be safe, our lawns to be safe, our grass to be safe. 
We wish the earth to be pesticide free, our food to be safe. We bless our food now and forever so we may eat clean food. What is we want? It is very basic what we want. We wish medical care for our seniors, for our children, for ourselves. We wish not to mortgage our houses to pay for medical care. We wish not to mortgage our houses to pay for food. We wish not to mortgage our houses to live in peace with our neighbors. We wish not to have to be hostile to our neighbors, whether they are right next to us, in states across our borders, or in countries to the north or south of us, to the east or west of us. We wish peace and harmony. The angels send light, harmony, and peace to our nation, to our leaders, so they may have peace in their heart, their hearts. They may open their hearts to the people who have bestowed on them their our trust. May they take this trust and be trustworthy. May they learn to be trustworthy. May they not see money as their God, but their hearts and love and divine forces and peace and harmony and bringing good things to the world as their legacy. May they change their legacy, a legacy of love, of peace, of harmony. May our leaders feel and know and see wisdom and may they lead from wisdom, not from fear. May they defend us when there is something to defend against and not defend us when it's just about money. May they defend us against a clear and present force. Otherwise, may they just put a circle of protection about us so that we know we may stand up and rise when we need to. We may, may we rise in unity, all the peoples of the nation, of all beliefs, of all nationalities. May we believe what our ancestors believed, that our huddled masses deserve to be here and find the dream of opportunity and prosperity. May we be ridden of this disease, this current virus and pandemic that has brought us a change, some changes for good, some changes for bad, some changes in thought, some changes in fear some changes in spiritual rising, some changes in awareness of hostilities within families, some changes in families where fathers and mothers are home more and children see it as a blessing, some changes in family where they have embraced the outdoors more than the indoors, some changes in family where unity is a value. May we embrace our fears and know which fears are produced and which fears are real. For real fears take courage to face them, change them, handle them, mitigate them, control them, and step beyond them. Other fears are false and created by false media, false people, false gods, other nations, false ideas, 
and our own inner fears. May we see the difference between truths and fears. May we know wisdom. May our leaders know wisdom. May our families know wisdom. May our children know wisdom, for they are the leaders of the future. May the generation coming into power know wisdom and no scientific fact from scientific falsehood. May life be lived to the fullest and that not be defined by us, but defined by the new generation coming up. May we know what living life for the fullest is. May we embrace that life and may we have benevolence and compassion, benevolence and compassion by the divine forces, by the angels, by the spiritual world, by the religious leaders, by the forces that govern, by the forces trying to complicate us. May life be easy and uncomplicated, where we see clearly we have not seen clearly for a number of years. We have not been seen clearly by having too much information. May we rid ourselves of the information we no longer need. May we rid ourselves of the ideas we no longer need. May we rid ourselves of ideas that do not serve us. May we rid ourselves by ridicule. May we rid ourselves of unfairness. May justice reign. May our rulers and our leaders follow justice first. It is the first rule. Is this just for the people of America? Is this justice for all? May we leave no child behind. May everyone get the same education and the same opportunity. May we leave no child behind in medical care. May we leave no one behind in a pandemic where all citizens, all people, receive care and love and the opportunity to live life to the fullest. May ideas be filtered through a heart, an open heart, a loving heart. May we stop and deceit of talking down to people, types of people, any people, groups of people. May we stop the bullying of a nation. But all we see from one side of the nation to another is bullying, bullying, bullying. People with bad mouthing each other, people not seeing truth, people saying things that this is that and this is that and extreme. May we hear truth only and filter out those who speak non-truth. May we hear those who speak with an open heart and filter out those who speak from other places of fear, of greed, of power. May we hear from those who love us and want to spread love. May we hear from those who want good energy white energy, clear energy. May we hear from those who love Mother Earth, who love our nation, who love who we are. Will we stop the separation that there is no others? May we understand that we are one people of the planet, we are one people of the nation. 
and we only hear words that support the one people, the oneness, the one nation. May we learn to filter out noise, noise that is there to fool us, tricks, tricks of people who change pictures, tricks that make things worse than they are, tricks that make things better than they are. May we the people hear truth only. And if we have leaders who do not speak truth, may we filter them out and only hear leaders who speak truth. May we send all the leaders love, white light, and the ability to speak truth. May our leaders be humble and ask for forgiveness, apologize for the things they have done in the past and move to the future. We as a nation have given second chances and third chances time and time again. We are people of forgiveness, but only if in the current you treat us with justice, justice for all of us the lowest of the lowest and the highest of the highest treated with justice. May of those of us who are in sickness and in health receive the blessings. For we bless this nation, we bless the leaders, we bless the people, we bless our earth. We ask for whiteness and light and love and harmony and peace, and we send light to the nation. We send na light to the nation's capital. May they lead in truth only. May they stop treating parts of the nation as the enemy. For it hurts. It hurts to think that we, the people, are treated as the enemy instead of we, the people. In order to form a more perfect union, may we, the people, know what is a more perfect union. What is that right now? What does that look like? What is that divine perfection? What does it look like? Does it mean that our people are healed and we are not leading the world in a pandemic, even though we only have a quarter of the world population and the rest of the world is fine and we are not? Does it mean that our people go hungry? That they go sick? That our elderly die because of not having care? Does it mean that those in the inner city schools do not get the schooling they deserve? Does it mean that those who are of a certain type or a certain color or a certain economics do not get what they need? Well, the, we have seen the lowest of lowest, the lowest economics and the lowest of everything invent the inventions that have changed the world and save the world. Every human being, every single one, has value. And your religions will tell you that every human being was created in the divine in image. So if so, how could the, every human being be divine? And yet they are not treated divinely. And this nation, our leaders, we demand to be treated divinely, with equality, with justice. We deserve to live a life that is not in fear, fear of our own government, fear of our own controllers, fear of our own planet, fear of our food, 
fear of each other. How sad, how sad, and how sad. Never should there be a time where people should live in so much fear. Yes, a virus, that is fine. We have had viruses before, and yes, we have masked, and we have stayed quarantined, and we have lived through it. So the ultimate fear should not be there. And yet, people do not listen. People do not see the future. It will be over when it's over, and when it's over, what then? We speak of values that are longer than your quarantine, longer than your pandemic, for that is a cheat. Okay, nine months, six months, a year, a year and a half. That's acute, for you do not see the longness of the time and how the world turns. So breathe. Know that your children have had more parenting during this time than any other time during their lives. They may have had less time in school formally, but they've had more parenting, which should bring them a higher IQ, a higher understanding of the world, a higher sense of value, for there is nothing more valuable than the parent. And so instead of fear that they might li miss a year of school that is virtual instead of together, let us go to peace and harmony and knowing that they have had a year of parenting that they would have otherwise missed as you go out to work and leave them in the hands of someone else. See the value of what they have gained for this generation coming up and you've never had. See that value. Instead of listening to the me media saying, Oh, it's so fearful. Children haven't been in school. Listen to what they have learned. Yes, they have learned their ABCs. And they have learned it by computer, which computers are necessary for their generation. Just as it was for my children. Just as for the millennials and the X generation. Excelling on computers is what their generations are about. But having parents around to give them values, to give them love, to show them the education and how valuable that is, that is priceless. And yet nowhere do you hear about the pricelessness of what this generation coming up has gained. They've gained not lost. They have seen the unity of their family pull together. That's a gained value. A gained value. They have seen, spent more time playing with their brothers and sisters. A gained value. More time in the family unit. A gained value. They have seen their parents instead of saying, oh, going to mom's again, or something like that. Oh, we got to see family saying, oh, I miss my family. I can't wait to see them. A gained value. And so instead, we let the media and our leaders and our politicians and other forces and other countries Tell us what our values are and say, oh, it's bad, it's bad, it's bad. Instead of the glass half full, we keep getting shown the glass half empty. And so I urge you, 
to gain wisdom during this time. Wisdom. What is the wisdom you can give to another? Go out and take a video and show others the beauty of your yard, your garden, your place in the desert. And teach our children unity, not just in the family, but in our cities as we pull together in our country as we pull together as one country. Don't let them separate us. We grew with the value that we were one people. Leave with the value that we are one people. Support those that are trying to seek justice in the street. Support those seniors who are trying to survive in our nursing homes and in isolations. Reach out. Send somebody a flower on their doorstep who has been isolated because of age. Show unity of your community. Safely, yes, whatever is necessary and whatever science says in the moment for it, it will move on. But unity the, nonetheless, what is it that you can do to bring unity to your community? Maybe it's deliver a meal to someone at their doorstep, nice and safe. Maybe it's the phone call. Maybe it's teaching a senior to use Zoom. We spend hours teaching people to use Zoom. For it is necessary that the baby boomers and the seniors learn to use Zoom and other interactive technology. Maybe it's leading and showing the next generation that we can be unified in harmony and in peace. Maybe it's showing them that you don't need to listen to everything that is said. You can discern the proper words. You can show discernment. Just like we spiritually show discernment, we listen and we say, is this spiritually true? Is the heart open? Is this peaceful? Is this loving? Is this divine? Is this being in the light? Is this being ethical? Is this being a good person? Those are questions you should ask yourself every day. Every day. Not sometimes, every day. And we need to teach this. We need to teach it to the generation, except that they are leading the way. They are discerning science for us. No, that is false information. That is false information. That is false information. That is a conspiracy theory. That isn't true. That isn't true. That isn't true. They know. Listen to them. But we must teach. And we must listen. And we must discern. So I ask you now, each of us, to discern simply in your heart, quietly inside your heart, who speaks truth and who is there to get you angry, to get you wild, to get you mad, to get you to make decisions out of anger and fear or decisions from peace and harmony. I also ask you, what is true for you? What is best for you? What is your truth? For it is not up to other people. It is for you. And so breathe into your hearts. See truth. Be a truth seeker for yourself. And do not speak. It used to be you could not speak if you were saying something bad about someone. No one is listening to that. Everyone is speaking bad about other people. 
We ask you not to speak unless you know you have truth and not to listen to people who are not speaking truth. For this is the new value of this decade. Find the truth in your hearts, the truth in your families, the truth in your life, the truth in your cities, the truth in your states, and the truth in your nation. Please sit for a minute and think about truth. And if you've heard any today, and who is speaking the truth, and who is hearing the truth, and if you are hearing truth. And it is the only, nothing more, for truth will always be in light. Light will lead to enlightenment. Enlightenment will always lead to unconditional love. And unconditional love will always lead to peace, harmony, and wisdom. Sit for a minute and listen to your truth. We thank you all for being here with us. We will repeat this next Monday. You can tune in and hear it again on YouTube, on Touch Mother Earth, our YouTube channel, and find our nonprofit on touchmotherearth.org. And this is a cooperation between touchmotherearth.org and newthoughtkabbalah.com. I'm Cheryl Glover. And Dave Miller, my husband, accompanying me. We thank you. We bless you. We thank you and we ask Spirit to bring you light, love, compassion, peace, harmony, wisdom, and above all, truth. Good evening.